I have the mussels here soaking in salt water, cold water. Now what I like to do is I like to really get in here and clean these things. I'm gonna save you the luxury of, of that show, but basically you wanna get in here and any beards and, and stuff, you wanna use a nice coarse brush. I have a special brush that I use for this stuff that I set aside just for my seafood. And it's nice to like get in here and really clean these well before you start using them. So they're in cold water and salt and they're just sitting here in some sea salt and um, getting them nice and clean and ready to go, okay? salt into this dish because the clams and the mussels are already pretty salty so you gotta go easy. I'm gonna use an entire stick maybe even two. Okay medium high heat and throw our butter in. Okay now what I like to do with the butter is just add a little bit of olive oil and this will keep it from burning. that butter melt. Down a little bit. That's good. 
cooking got the thyme in there I think I'm gonna go a couple more pieces of thyme ah oh, so nice look at that color that's what you want okay it's gonna be a nice base Next, I'm gonna go with some low sodium organic vegetable broth, okay? Some people use chicken broth. What's a chicken doing inside my seafood dish, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't want chicken flavor in there. So chicken broth, eat, I go for vegetable broth. You want at least a cup, maybe two. Boom, there you go. Maybe two and a half. Bring that to a heat again. Get that jazz in. Look at that. Oh, now we're talking. There's tomatoes cooking down some more.
Yeah, you don't want to go too too far down. You want to hit that white part of the, the lemon. It gets bitter. You just want to grab the outside oily zest right there. All right, so we're gonna do that right here. So. So as this comes up to 